Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to St. Louis, where day three of Arch Madness has wrapped up play. Well, it seems like it's all people have been talking about over the past week, slapping. But did you know slap fight is a growing sport here in America? And there's one guy here in Springfield that's trying to take it to the next level. <laughs> Naturals are changing their pitchers. Walker up second after Delvin Perez. Dan, that's what's going on here. We're in for another doozy. We'll send it back to you. Well, we've seen the stats from her all year long. But now we get to sit down with Abby Jackson, the quiet leader that is having a player of the year type season. That story when we return. So the run rule has become kind of a norm for the Logan Rogersville Wildcats. So far, every game this state tournament, they have won by at least 10 runs. For the past 11 years, Missouri State hasn't heard its name called in the seven round NFL draft. That until Saturday. I'm more into baseball in like June and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. I when can you're see that. when you're sitting there and you when gotta you find the shade because it's too hot rather than find like the sun because it's too cold. If you build it, of course the challenge, you know, come come somewhere new and you know start something new. They will come. Currently in uh, Iowa. I'm from Pleasant Grove, Utah. St. Louis. It's a line right out of the movies, which is kind of the point. Man, it was the good, the bad, the ugly. You know, all the memories, world and the events that we went through. You know, uh, it's, it's something that, you know, you can't really talk about, but it's something that you got to sum up in a movie. That screenplay is about Link Academy. The director, former Missouri State Bear Rodney Perry. He's a great coach to be able to put, you know, this talented, these amount of talented guys on the team and make them play together and not in a selfish way. It takes a special talent, it takes a special mind to do that. Tucked away in the Ozarks on the banks of Lake Tony Como, Link Academy is on the Link campus and they just finished their first season of high school basketball. Guys all had a common goal, and they knew coming here that they was going to have to sacrifice in some way, shape, or form, uh, but it was going to be for the betterment of the team and for their success. The wins, the tournament trophies from across America, and confidence started piling. By March, Link became the first program to make the national tournament in its inaugural season. We're making history right now, and uh, we're doing something that's never been done before. And uh, to be a part of this, you know, it's, it's a great feeling, and it's something that I'm always going to remember. But it wasn't the Hollywood ending they were hoping for, losing in the national championship to Montverde. It definitely like a sour taste in your mouth. We did all we did, and we had an amazing season, especially being our first year. But uh, to capitalize and actually win, that would, that would be big time. Now we realize, hey, we can be a national powerhouse, you know, program just like the Montverde, IMG, Sunrise, Oak Hills. Uh, and us be there every single year, and that's what we plan to do. All from the set in Branson, Missouri. Couldn't be more proud uh, the way we represented, you know, our school, uh, the city of Branson, and our community, and, you know, uh, just give all the glory to God. In Branson, Dan Lindblad, Ozarks First. Oh, how your life can change in just 365 days. It's been one hell of a ride, to say the least. A year ago today, I was pitching in the Arizona Regional in Tucson with my boys from Santa Barbara. Next thing I know, I'm in double A a year later. It's kind of surreal. The Cardinals drafted Michael McGreevy in the first round of the 2021 MLB draft, the first from his family to play professional baseball. They're beyond proud, beyond stoked. I mean, I wouldn't be here without them. I'm blessed to say I have an amazing family. I, I don't know what I did to deserve such an amazing family. His welcome, we'll consider it a warm one. In spring training, it was um, going against uh, Arenado, Carlson, Newpar, Sosa, and Bader in live at, live at bats. And the pitching coach said, hey, McGreevy, you're on field two. Uh, we're going to have some pro guys. I'm like, sweet, cool. And then those are the Cardinals, like one through five hitters. After eight starts in Peoria, McGreevy got the call to pack up and head to Springfield. His first start came on the road in Tulsa. Michael McGreevy making his double A debut. Where the welcome was not so warm. Those guys could really hit, and it was honestly just kind of a welcome to double A moment where I didn't have any of my stuff, and good hitters do what good hitters do, and they punish mistakes. And it was kind of like, okay, like. We're a higher level now. But the bounce back was exemplary. His two starts since, he's tallied 12 strikeouts and picked up a pair of wins. But my dad texted me after. He's like, does it feel like some weight has been lifted? I'm like, yeah, it was good to finally get a good one in there, even though it's only been two starts in double A. Um, it was nice to kind of, in a way, prove myself to the new guys. He's currently the top right-handed pitching prospect in the Cardinals organization and eighth overall. That number's nice, but there are more important numbers in his mind. I mean, I think at the end of the day, we're all just kids just playing a kid's game. It's fun to think about every now and then, but 
at the end of the day, we're still just playing baseball. It's about going out there, competing, doing your best, and trying to get a win for the team. In Springfield, Dan Lindblad Ozarks first. Some people are born to box. Others find their way through a middle school challenge. A friend just came up to me, and one of my other friends just said, hey, who here thinks they could beat me in a boxing match? <laughs> and I didn't even know what boxing was. Uh, and then me and my friend just went up to the gym and got our butts handed to us and uh, just wanted to get better. I've been coaching Arturo Moreno since he was nine years old. It looked like he was scared of his own shadow. He's dedicated, he trains hard, he lives clean, and that's why he's a champion. A Central High graduate, Arturo Moreno turned pro in the summer of 2020. His first fight in Abilene, Kansas. It was a hard, dirty fight. I even got my head busted open in that first, in my first fight. That's when I realized I was pro. It's a lot more different than the amateurs. He'd win that bout with a majority decision. Fast forward four fights, four wins, and an IBC welterweight international title later. An early highlight bout in Las Vegas last weekend against a big name and Roberto Duran Jr. His age wasn't the thing that was bugging me, you know, it's his name, his dad, you know, but I had to remember, I had to remind myself, he's not his dad. Despite a 14-year age difference, looks like he uh, probably has class Monday at 9 a.m. Moreno wasn't intimidated, winning in unanimous decision. That was my dream, my dream fight. My dream fight is to fight out in Vegas because, you know, you know, you always hear all these top boxers and all these big boxers fighting out there, you know, and I actually did it and I won and especially against Roberto Durant. Jr. Moreno and Smitty are eyeing what's next for the young bull. Meanwhile, Moreno still has eyes on his education with aspirations of knocking out a college degree. It's just a big thing for me because going into college is something that a lot of people in my family haven't done. You know, we're known for being that punch young boxers. Well, that, that day and age is over. You've got to be a champion, not just inside the boxing ring. You've got to be a champion outside the boxing ring. You've got to set the example. And that's Arturo the Matador Moreno. In Springfield, Dan Lindblad, Ozarks first. Missouri State, Oklahoma State, loser goes home. Second inning, Bears up to nothing. Bases loaded, Drake Baldwin doubles to right field. Grant Wood, Will Duff, Spencer Nivens all score, and it's 5 0 Missouri State. Later in the same inning, bases loaded again. Cam Craddock with a mammoth of a home run to right center. The grand slam makes it 9 0. We go to the third and it's Duff's turn as he launches it to left field. It's 10-0 Missouri State over the seven seed. In the fifth though, Rock Riggio with the power of sweet pepper bacon cheese fries blasted to center field, 13 to nine. Objects in the rear view starting to be closer than they appear. Bottom fifth, Baldwin unconscious at the plate though, does it again, his 19th home run of the season, third of the regional, 14-10 Bears lead. But in the sixth, Griffin Dorshing, number 52 in your program, number one in your heart, a grand slam to complete the comeback and give OSU the lead 17-14. Bears not lying down though. Spencer Nivens, like most, finding that pin and left 17 to 15. 15 runs, most for a Missouri State team in a tournament game since 1999. But the Pokes also set a program record. Oklahoma State knocks out Missouri State. 29 to 15, the 44 runs most ever in an NCAA tournament game. The Lady Bears honoring five seniors today, including Abby Hip. A special moment to start the game for her. Hip, who tore ACL in November, got the start against Indiana State. Two applause from both sides and the fans. As for the game, Sydney Wilson got the party started with a three pointer from the wing. Lady Bears taking the lead. Then Maya Benhar knocks in the short corner jumper. It makes it 24 to 18 Lady Bears. Later in the second quarter, the winningest Lady Bear ever. Bryce Caleb drives, powers through the contact, gets the and one. Caleb had 14 points, nine boards and six assists. Lady Bears up 36-27. Then more from Wilson. She hits another three-pointer off the Ben Har pass. Wilson had a game high 18 points. Lady Bears up 11 at halftime. Second half, Mariah White drives in her right-handed layup is good, 10 for the grad senior. Lady Bears up 20 at that point. Then Caleb drives baseline, drops an absolute dime to Abby Jackson for the two. Abby J at 14 points. The Lady Bears beat Indiana State 72-65 and send a special group off with a win in the home finale.